So in this lecture, as we mentioned before, we will, we will create a delete method which deletes a node from circle single linked list. So we will create our method inside our circle single linked list class, which we created before in our previous lectures. So our all methods are inside this circle single linked list class. So here I will create this deletion method based on the algorithm that we looked in our previous lecture. So if you haven't watched our previous lecture, I advise you go back and check it because in this way it makes easier to create this function over here. So let's get started. So we will create our function like this, delete node, which will take as a parameter self as always and location parameter. Then according to our algorithm, the first thing that we are going to do, we will check head value. So if self dot head is now it means that we don't have any element in our circular single linked list so we cannot delete any element so here i will print out saying that there is not any L, any node in CSLL. so in else condition we will continue to check our location parameter so as we said in our previous lectures, if the location parameter is zero, it means that we are deleting a node from the beginning of circular single linked list. So here I will write a case if location equals zero, it means that we want to delete an element from the beginning of circular single linked list. In this case, we have two cases over here. The first case is if we have only one element in our circular linked list. So how do we know that if we have only one element? So we can do it by another if condition. If our tail and head is equal, it means that we have only one node in our list because both of them are pointing to the same node. So I will write if condition like this. If self dot head equals to self dot tail, it means that we have only one node in our list. So what we are doing in this case, we are setting head reference and tail reference and the reference of the node to now. So by doing this, we are deleting the first node from our list. So here I will set self.head.next, which is the first node's next reference to none. Then I will set head to none, then tail to none. So by doing this, we are deleting an element from the beginning of circular single linked list, which has only one element. Then in the else condition, we will look at the case in which we have more than one element in our circular single linked list. So in this case, what we are doing? The first thing that we are doing, we are setting the head reference to the second node. So we will set head reference to the next node. So how can we access the next node? by accessing the next value of head so we know that head stores the first node so by accessing the next reference of head we are accessing the physical location of second node so after setting this we need to set last node's reference to point to the this node over here so we set our head to this node so if we set tails next to head we are creating a link between last node and the second node so because here we set head to the second node so with this, we are deleting the first node in our circle single linked list in which we have more than one nodes in our list. Then we will continue to check location parameter in which location equals to one. If the location equals to one, it, it means that we want to delete an element from the end of circular single linked list. In this case also, we have two cases. The first case is in which we have only one element in our list. So this case is similar to the case over here. So I will copy the case from here and pass, pass it over here. Then in the else condition, we will write second case in which we have more than one element in our circle linked list. If you have more than element in our list and we want to delete last element in the circle single linked list, so we need to loop through the elements until we reach the element that is before the last element and change its references. So how we are going to do? I will, I will create a temporary node over here which takes the first node, which is the head. Then, then inside while loop, while node is not none, I will check the condition 
when we reach the node that is before the last node. So if nodes, this node's next reference equals to the self tail, it means that we reach the node that is before the last node. So here I will create break. Otherwise, I'm setting the, this node to the next reference, which means that inside this loop, every time we are traversing to the next node. With this loop, we are finding the node, which is the node that is before the last node. Then after finding it, we will change the reference of this node. So the first thing that we are going to do, we will change the next reference of this node to the to point to the first node, so self head. Then we will change the tail reference to point to this node over here. So self tail will be this node. So by doing this, we are deleting the node from the end of surplus in the linked list, in which we have more than one element. Now, after checking the location parameter, here we saw that we checked for the beginning of circular single linked list, and we checked for the end of circular single linked list, and we have another case in which we are deleting an element from the middle of circular single linked list. So inside else condition, I'll write this condition over here. So here again, we will start to loop through the circular single linked list. So I will create temporal node over here. So I will set this to self head as always. Then I need to create another variable over here, which takes an index as a zero. Then while index less than location, less than location minus one, which means that we will traverse until the element that is before the element that we want to delete. So here we are setting temp node to the next node, temp to next, because every time we are traversing to the next node, then we are increasing this index over here by one. And after finding the node that is before the node that we want to delete, we will take the next node after this node. So the next node will be temp node dot next. And we will create a link between current node and the node which is after the next node. So to do so, we need so we need to set current node's next value to next node's next value. We know that next node next reference points to the node that is after the next node. So by doing this, we are creating a link between current node and with the node that is after the next node. So in this case, next nodes become eligible for garbage collection and garbage collection comes and delete this. So with this, we complete our method. So let's see how this is working in practice. Let's save our code. And as always, I didn't delete the code that we had before in which we are creating circular single linked list using create circular single linked list and we are inserting some elements to it. Now, here, after this code, I will try to delete an element from the beginning of circular single linked list, then from the end, then from the middle. Let's try the first case in which we are deleting an element from beginning of circular single linked list. So I will call delete method here as a location, I will put zero. When we put zero, we know that this deletes the element from the beginning of circular single linked list. Now, before running our code, let's just print out one more time our circular, circular single linked list to see the difference between them. So let's run our code. You see that this is our initial version of list and this is the version that is after the deletion. So here, we created a list with the element of zero. Then we inserted an element at the beginning of this circular single linked list. We have two zero here. So if we delete the first element, it deletes one zero. So if I put one over here, it will delete four from here. So if I save it and run it, you see that the last element gets deleted. Now, if I put, for example, two over here, it will delete the element after the two. So the third element should be deleted. So as you see, the third element deleted. So this is one, this is two, and this is third element. So the third element get deleted. So two is absent. So we can try another case in which we have only one element in our circle link of this. So if I delete insertions from here and just comment this part also for now, let me clear it. And let's run our code. We see that in this case, we have only one element in our circle linked list. So 
let's run our function for this list over here so for now i will put for example zero which will delete first element so if i run it you see that initially we have one element now we don't have any element. if i put here one also it will be the same case so if i put here one you see that zero gets deleted so so our function works perfectly so now you might be interested what is the time and space complexity for this method over here so to make our life easier let me close the terminal from here and let me just make it a little bit little to see everything in the one window so now it looks okay now as always we will start from the first line of this method so the first line of this method is we are checking the head value we know that checking head value and printing some text over here is O1 time complexity so the first part of if condition takes O1 time complexity then we are continuing to the else part in else part one more time we have if condition over here and we have another if condition inside this and inside this if condition we are just updating the references to now this line separately takes O1 time complexity so if you combine them it will take O1 time complexity and this else part also takes O1 time complexity because here once again we are just updating reference then we are continuing to the part over here in which we are checking the location parameter one more time and inside this if condition we have another if condition which is just updating the references so as mentioned over here this is all one time complexity then in else condition we are creating a temporary node which is taking all one time complexity then we have loop over here and we know that looping through any given linked list takes O n time complexity so the time complexity of loop over here is O n then outside the loop we are updating the references again which takes O one time complexity then we continue to the last else condition over here in last and else condition we are creating a temporal node one more time and we are creating a variable so this part over here takes O one time complexity because this operation is not time consuming then one more time we have loop condition over here so looping through linked list is O n time complexity so this part over here takes O n time complexity then after loop we are just updating the references so updating references takes O one time complexity so if we combine all complexities over here we will get O n time complexity because in this case O one time complexities are non-dominant terms so we have two O n time complexity over here this means that the time complexity for this method is O n in the worst case then uh, the space complexity for this method is O1 because here we are just creating two temporary nodes. The one is over here and the other one is here. So creating two temporary nodes does not take an extra space in the memory. So that's why the space complexity is O1. So this is all for this lecture. So in this lecture, we created a method which deletes a node from a circle single link of this in three different cases. Hopefully everything is clear. See you in the next lecture.